Hi, Ramona. As you can see, I am cleaning the bathroom. <laughs> Again. <clears throat> What's Corey doing? Oh. I am actually excited about therapy this week, which <laughs> is unusual. I'm sorry. You're an excellent therapist. But it's hard to look forward to an hour of blowing up my marriage. Especially if we're in a, you know, a good place. Getting along, maybe even liking each other a little. Inevitably, though, you, you get in there with your degree and your funky glasses and <clears throat> you just root around. Find all the shit we've kept hidden for years. <laughs> and of course, after the hour of therapy, there's the inevitable hour of fighting about whatever came up during therapy. I mean, we act all calm and reasonable while you're there, but the second we log off, it is World War III. But this week, oh, Ramona, God bless your funky glasses because your little homework assignment has finally given me my time to shine. Keep a video log every time you feel you're doing more than your partner does. <laughs> See you very soon. Uh, hi, Ramona. Um, I'm checking the bees. I don't even like honey. Joy likes honey. Joy was like, let's keep bees. I just read an article. I love honey. And I'm like, what? And she's like, I ordered six hives. And now I'm a beekeeper. And Joy would say that the reason I have to do the beekeeping is because I'm the one who the suit fits, but she ordered the suit. So what's that tell you? And I know what you'll say, Ramona, you'll say I should have spoken up then. But if I spoke up then and said that I don't want to do the beekeeping, she would say, well, I can't do it because I do everything else around here, which isn't true, but that's how she sees it. And it's like, that's her perception and that's fine, but it's not reality, okay? Don't let her trick you. I could take a nap. There's no law against napping. Ow. Ow. Okay, I got it. Damn it, I really hate honey. What is this stain? I do nine loads of laundry a week. Nine. I... I'm sorry, there's nothing more to say. Okay. So, I'm waiting for the tire guys to be ready. You know, an astonishing amount of my life is spent just waiting for random guys to be ready for me to pay them to do things that they think I should know how to do myself. 
and they're so judgmental. It's like, I'm sorry, bro, but the fact I don't know how to rotate my tires is the whole reason you have a job. So maybe don't make me feel like the most pathetic excuse for a man for coming in here and asking you to do it. Hey, man. What? No, 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 no. Yeah, we're good. Let's do this. Yeah. What? Oh, no, it's not a... Um it's not a TikTok. It's a uh, it's a homework assignment from my couples therapist. Yeah, yeah. This is what I do while the kids nap. Lots of time to reflect on my life choices. Joy always says that she does all the laundry, but part of doing laundry is folding it and putting it away. So Joy washes and dries the laundry, and then we dig through the laundry for our clothes in a state of panic and rage like a bunch of naked mole rats. And that's how we choose to live. I guess I could put away all the laundry. But that's not the point. The point is she tries to get credit for doing the laundry, but she doesn't actually finish it. That's the point. That's the point. Okay. I do other stuff. I do all the cooking. I do all the dishes. See? Smells good. Thanks for cooking. I put all of these away four hours ago. You don't have to tidy up, I'll do it. Oh, you got the kids to bed. But didn't you just do this when they were taking a nap? Yep. So let me do it. Well, you cooked. You put the dishes away. You took the car to the tire place. You clean the bathroom. You do the bees. Well, but we do it together.